hoping this is focused because, yes. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fee for those of you who are new here and those who are not. Hello, welcome back. So today I'm going to be making a live cast of my face for the first time. So, I have no idea how this is going to go. I've just watched a bunch of videos. There are three methods. There is the alginate, there is the plaster, and there is the silicone version. And today, since I will be doing this on myself with no help, I'm going to be doing the plaster version with the plaster wrap strips and the dry mix to liquid mix plaster. Um, if you don't know what a live cast is, it's basically a model of your face. This is going to make me be able to make prosthetics in advance for more heavy things or like things that need to be put together and will just be easier to work on something before applying to my face. So if you want to see how I did this, then just keep on watching. Things that you're going to need, this is just for, I'm going to go step by step things that you need. Um, for the first part of this, I believe there are going to be three parts to this, yes. First part, you are going to need to take off, or four parts. First part is take off your makeup. So I'm going to do that right now because you don't want anything on your face getting in the way of your naturalness of everything and that really didn't make sense, but who cares? I'm just gonna take off my makeup and yes, I'm breaking out right now. I noticed that already. Just don't even question my things because I already know that I'm breaking out a lot. So I have on so much foundation right now. Next part of, this is step two. I said there were four parts. At first I said there were three parts, but now I'm saying there are four parts. Um, you are going to really need to get your hair, all parts of hair, out of the way. And for this, I'm going to start off by putting my hair in a really, really tight ponytail so I can get as much hair as I can out of the way. And I'm going to be using saran wrap around my head, I believe, I'm not quite sure yet. I can't decide if I want to just use Vaseline on my hair if I want to use actual saran wrap because I'm doing the entire top half of my head here. Um, and you're going to need Vaseline and all that stuff. But make sure this is really tight so it's out of your face as much as possible. I'm going to use like two hair ties right now. Taking knockoff Vaseline because I'm cheap like that and I look like an egg. Um, I'm just going to start putting this on my eyebrows. You really want to make sure every little part of those hairs are covered. So I'm going back and forth, man. You're going to put this on your eyelashes as well if you are putting this on your eyes. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not, so I'm just going to do it in case because I don't know if I want to put it on my eyes yet. But if I want to, I want to have that option. Open to me. Wow, that's a nice feeling. I look so oily. Just like, I'm a, wait, you guys, <laughs> so oily going on. That's okay. Ooh, nice focusing skills, Sophia. I just personally really don't want to get this stuck on my face. I'm going to take the like little bits and spread this out because you really only need to focus on those main hair spots, but your face has hair on it too, so I'm just gonna... Yep. You're gonna feel it's like... I say this a lot to my friends, and I say I look like a glazed donut when I'm oily. And so right now, I am at maximum glazed donut level. And don't worry if you're breaking out like me every single day. Um, because later on, we are going to sand down the cast. My hair is going to be disgusting and I gotta take a second shower today. Yay! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take off the headband for about two seconds. Oh my god, I'm so not ready for this. Ew. Oh no. This is so not a nice feeling. This is not a nice feeling. I feel disgusting. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, man. Yes, I think I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands because this is disgusting. I have some scissors with me over here. The plastic wrap, or 
plaster wrap and a bowl that I'm gonna fill with warm water and a few seconds. Chucking these over there and this over there as it not to explode. I have strips like this, I'm gonna cut these in half. They're probably gonna go here about this big. We're going to take it, dip it in the water, wring it out like this to kind of flatten out the air bubbles and just put this and spread it out so none of the little holes are showing. And there you go. And you're gonna repeat this so it's kind of covering your entire head. I can start to feel it, so I'm gonna stop talking. It's like starting to harden now that I don't want it to like release from my face, so. I'm gonna say goodbye, and I'll cut, get back to you guys later. plaster. I'm going to let this dry facing upright on top of a bucket that is holding all the actual the plaster actually. Um, I'm going to clean up, get this figured out because this is a real look I have going. Um, once again, hot water. So, adios. I'll be, I'll be back. 